What would your life be like if things had gone a bit differently? When I was 16, I decided I won't be a paramedic. I wanted to save lives and help people. I'm not a paramedic, I'm on benefits. But does that make me lazy? I volunteer at a charity where I DJ. I play football. I go out with my mates. I work at a hospital. I swim. And I go to college. So why do people think I'm lazy and I can't do anything? When was the last time you read about anything positive about benefits? However you see benefits, our lives will be affected. Benefits are often seen as a negative thing. There's a lot of stigma around benefits and people who use them. We wanted to make this short film to present to you the myths beyond the stigma, as well as the stories about using benefits and to start a new positive conversation. For me, benefits are not generous. Benefits allow me to lead an okay life, but I can't afford luxuries. I can't buy new clothes. I can't go to the cinema. And I can't save money. I've been on benefits for 13 years after an accident I had at work. People think I'm fiddling the benefits. People think I'm a stranger and that they don't know the facts of what I'm going through. They don't know the truth. I'm 23 and all I get, I'd like a paid job, but all I get offered is voluntary work. I am the trustee of my life, my choice. I volunteer one day a week for Yellow Submarine Cafe and I work at an OAP luncheon club. I've got the skills and knowledge to do lots of different jobs, but the employer only sees things I can't do, not what I can do. I want a paid job, not to be in a day centre like I'm doing at the moment. I was with Mencap for 10 months looking for paid work. Mencap have struggled to find me any paid work. This is because of my disability. I get paid for some of my work at My Life, My Choice, but it's not regular. I also volunteer a lot of my time at My Life, My Choice for a radio show. These experiences give me vital job and life skills. I know of somebody that lives in Oxfordshire in a three-bedroom property who has to pay the bedroom tax. They have lived there all of their lives, even their grandparents lived in the same property. A couple of years ago they were made to pay the bedroom tax for the bedrooms they were not using. They were told by the council to get lodgers. If you have lodgers, you've then got to pay full rent, which they could not afford. I live with my wife and our cat Fluffy in a flat. Our house is run by a housing association. Our fin uh, finance is run by our money management team uh, and we don't see any of the money. All the bills get paid by money management to go to our housing association. What else I get offered, I have to take because the office is so expensive. I'm not a burden. I have been fundraising for my life, my choice. I'm not a burden. I'm a DJ on a, a local radio show. I'm not a burden because I help at Brooks University. I am not a burden because I'm a producer of a radio show with people run by people with learning disabilities. I'm not a burden because I help people less fortunate than myself. If we didn't have the benefits, then what would we have to live on? we wouldn't be able to buy clothes and we wouldn't have anywhere to live if we weren't on benefits. In the past, the people used to believe the world was flat. This story was started by people with information and ideas. 
but they didn't necessarily have all the facts. We invite you to be part of our conversation, to question the headlines that you see on a daily basis and to question your own views on how you see benefits. We ask you to do this because benefits are there to benefit everyone when they need it. One day you might need this support. Will that make you a scoundrel?